Carolina from alwayseexpectmore.com and we're working on the Cricut Maker Block of the Week, the sequel. Today we're going to make this fun windmill block. You ready? Let's get started. Block two is another simple block. We have four different units that are made exactly the same way. See this piece looks a little bit different but if you just pivot at 90 degrees it's exactly the same as that. So what we're going to do is stitch together four sets of these pairs, then we'll press them, and then we can stitch half together, and then the other half together, and then stitch all the way across to make our entire block. So let's start by stitching some pairs. Put your right sides together and line up your edges. If you're a pinner, go ahead and pin. We're using our quarter inch foot, or just make sure you keep your quarter inch seam allowance if you don't have a quarter inch foot on your machine. I'm using a neutral colored thread. My neutral is gray. I'm gonna put my presser foot down and just start stitching. Chain piecing is where you don't break the thread from the first set of stitching before you move on to the next. However, you do wanna make sure that you go past the fabric on the first set, just a couple stitches before tucking the other one in. I've made it all the way to the end. Needle up, press your foot up, then I can clip between each. And now I can press all these pieces. When I press them, I'm going to want to press towards the dark side, and I'm going to press all of them towards the dark side. And what that's going to do is create a spiral in the back. So press all of them towards the dark. To press, just grab your hot iron and press the seam in one direction, flip it over, and press again. Repeat for all four. Okay, before I continue, I like to lay my block out again, just to make sure that I still know what direction everything's going. Okay, just like that. So I'm gonna grab these two, put them right sides together. And I wanna stitch this seam, but even though I wanna stitch these, this seam, I actually wanna stitch it so that this side is up. And the reason I wanna stitch this side up is because here's where I'm going across the seam and I wanna make sure that this part stays flat right here, this little seam allowance. If I stitch here, as I'm stitching, I might catch the seam allowance and it might fold under a little bit and create an ugly lump. So I find that it's easier to stitch from this side. But when you do this, like this, and you grab it, make sure that you remember which side you're stitching and you don't accidentally stitch on the other side because if you stitch on the other side, you'll get a completely different design. If you're worried about stitching this, just make sure you're stitching with the polka, dot, polka dotted side right there and the seam right across you. We can chain piece this again, grabbing our next one. This seam is on the top, nice and easy. Press our foot up, needle up, we can cut, and now we can press these. The question is which way do we press these? And the answer is you want this seam to continue on, so we're going to press flat like this. If we pressed over like this, we'd actually be pressing onto like seam allowance on top of seam allowance, and that would create extra bulk. So we're going to press it in this direction.
Okay, we have our block almost complete. We're just doing one last seam. When we put these two together, what's most important is that the middle lines up and that'll give us our nice crisp points. If you take your middle and you just kind of hold it with your fingers, you can do what's called nesting the seams. You've got one seam allowance going this way and the other going the other direction. You can see that. And that creates just a little bit of a lump, a seam that you can nest right against each other. And then from that nested seam, you can line up the top and the bottom corners. Perfect. Presser for that needle up. Now I just have to press this last seam on the block. And with this last seam, I'm going to do what's called spinning the seams. So you can see this seam allowance is going in this direction and this seam allowance is going in this direction. And I want to keep this spiral going. So I'm going to press this side in this direction and this side in this direction. And that kind of pops open this center right here. And the reason we do that is it's called spiraling the seams and it prevents there from being a huge big bulk here in the middle. So I'm kind of finger pressing it here to get it ready for my iron. And then I'm going to take it to my iron and I'm going to press this down. I want to be careful not to disturb the other seams that I've already pressed. I'm going to start with these two sides and then gently come on top of the middle. And of course, press from the front as well. There we go. Block two of Cricut Maker Block of the Week, the sequel, is complete. Join me next week for block three. And that's how easy it is to make the windmill block. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And make sure you're already subscribed to this channel. If not, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a single block in our Cricut Maker Block of the Week, the sequel. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next week.